All right, here we go. I'm getting ready to bust a box of 2012 Topps Baseball Jumbos. And uh, I got a great deal on this box at my local card shop, Kenmore Collectibles. And uh, <clears throat> one autograph and two relic cards in every box. And before I get started on that, I just want to show one of my newest pickups. In case you were uh, kind of wondering where my allegiances, allegiances lay. Uh, lie uh, as far as basketball licensing goes. I just I can't stand the thing that Panini is doing with basketball, and I wish Tops had the uh, had a basketball license again. But uh, this is a baseball break, so we'll focus on baseball. Um, Tops has been pretty. As it is with all Series 1 releases, as people kind of see some of the stuff that Topps has planned, the buzz increases, the price of the boxes go up. Um, they've got the wrap, added value of the wrapper redemption. And <clears throat> some of the uh, relic cards, manufactured relics still, but the pins and coins and things like that have... Uh, kind of got some buzz going. They're different. They're cool looking. Um, to me, if, if the card's cool looking, that's, there's five packs from the right. If the card's cool looking, that's what matters the most. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cool to have relics, you know, a jersey from what player wore and whatever, but with authenticity getting more and more cloudy and just kind of the whole concept kind of being done uh, to the extreme and kind of becoming tired I kind of welcome the new cards you know it's not something that the player used or touched or whatever but it's as long as it looks as long as it's a nice card you know so let's see what we get out of this box oh I got a prime nine card on the back there so some of the base cards. Ty Wigington, Josh Bell. I hope the SPs, if there are any, are still uh, like they have been in the past in with the insert cards in that section. If not, I will not find the SP till later on. And then, you know, you got celebration cards. You got cards like this mixed in every now and then that look kind of like celebration. There we go. Our gold, Michael Taylor. Classic walk-offs, which, I don't know, did they really need the same picture three times over? Although, hold on. No, this one actually isn't the same picture three times over. This one's the same picture twice, and then a different picture. So that's different than the other ones I had seen so far. Rex Robinson. Joe DiMaggio. Golden Great. Tom Seaver, Gold Standard. D. Gordon, Gold Futures. I really like the, the A7 minis. They did a good job on those. And Golden Giveaway card. Yeah, what's this? Timeless Talents. They always have to have a two players on a card. So these are catchers. So, base, 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 home run legends number nine. It's a cool concept and all, but um, sets became available pretty inexpensively, and you know, I I like that card companies are doing different things to try to find ways to get people to come into card shops, but I don't know if that's the so I'm going to skip all the bases this time around. Chris Parmalee, rookie card, gold. Mark Teixeira. Paul O'Neill. Gloved in the gap. So it talks about a specific moment on the back, the golden moment. Billy Mays, power praise for Mays. Tomei. 
Britain, Mariano Rivera, Golden Giveaway, which is not live. Now they're saying the end of February. It would be nice if they could actually have these sites up and ready to go when the product launches. Joe Morgan and Brandon Phillips. That's nice. At least they're on the same team. Something to kind of tie them together. Okay, two packs in and no no big hits. Uh, one thing I'm going to show you at the end of this video, I bought one pack uh, along with my box and I hit something pretty nice. So uh, I'm going to show you that. Oh, here's the black. Vernon Wells. And this year they're numbered to 61. Oh, yay, back to foil. 61 of 61. eBay 1 of 1. Mark Trumbo, Gold Cup Rookie. Luis Aparicio. Babe Ruth. Reggie. Jeremy Hellickson. Adrian Gonzalez. Golden Giveaway. It looks like there's 10 different Golden Giveaway cards again this year. Timeless Talent, Sam Berg and Ugla. Adrian Gonzalez. Base card. Home Run Legends number two. So again, I mean, those are, if you can do it, if you have a local shop that is participating, it's worth bringing in those cards to get entered into the contest. But if you want a set, you know, I saw sets at card shows for $5. Seems like the easiest way to do it. Teixeira, most dual switch hit home run games. Okay, that's one of the checklist cards. Prince Fielder. Wake up, walk off. <laughs> Lou Gehrig, King of the Slams. Nolan Ryan. JP Arancibia. Troy Tulowitzki. Oh, oh. Kind of skipped ahead to that. Marlon Bird, Golden Moment. Sticker Auto. I think everything's stickers in this uh, flagship. So, we got a M-Y-L autograph. M-Y-L. Don't strain yourself, Marlon. The golden moment. And Molitor and Braun. That's cool. I like, I like when they pair players from the same team. When they just kind of have two people that have no connection. It's... So there's the autograph hit. Nothing to write home about. To get too excited about. Kelvin Herrera. Herrera. Mickey Mantle walk off. Okay, there's an example. It's mostly, I guess, just the older cards, and they have they've used the same picture three times. Probably because they don't have the ability to pull the, also the image of them crossing the plate. Jeter. Hank Aaron. Another Jeter. Mike Stanton. Starlin Castro. Giveaway. Ernie Banks and Troy Tulowitzki. So halfway through the box, and we pulled the auto hit. So this side should have two relics. Got another John Lester on top. Let's skip ahead. Scott Downs with a smash, smash, smash corner. Can you see that? Oh yeah. It's especially easy to tell with the foil cards. Smash to bits. Al Kaline and his corner's a little ding too. So 
So I wonder what Tops is going to do as far as wrappers go for um, getting uh, cards replaced. I have to send them an email so that they can reply to that email and tell me to call and uh, get the runaround. And I used to rave about Topps' customer service. They've changed something recently and, and they answer every email with call. It's like, okay, then you call and they it's the simplest of answers that they could have easily given you over email. Tom Seaver. Our oldest Chapman. Game Shields. Golden giveaway. That looks like it's one of the gold yeah, the gold one of ones. And there we go. Well, I mean this one, Edgar Martinez and Big Poppy, the two best DHs ever. But uh still, I mean Do you need that card, I guess is what I'm saying. My thoughts are no. You do not need that card. By Matus. Matus? I can't pronounce the name. I don't know if I've heard it pronounced. If I've heard it enough times to know the correct pronunciation. Ernie Banks. Roberto Clemente. Paul O'Neill, another JP RNCBA, Cheater, Golden Moment, Sandberg and Ugla again. Wow. Ooh, whoa. This is cool. Stan Musial. It's one of the World Series championship pins. It's numbered out of 736, which is a odd number. Uh, they don't come out. I was kind of hoping they were actual pins that you could take off the card. And because uh, I have a, let me lift this up for a second. But I have a kind of big pin collection <laughs> that they would make a cool part of any of these pins. But uh, I don't know. But that I like. I like the way this looks. I don't know. Maybe other people won't like them. You know, some people automatically here manufactured relic because it says relic on the box maybe it should say maybe they need to call it something else maybe that's the issue but some people flip out about manufactured relics but I personally I like this card I think it's cool and Jay Bruce again I mean I don't recall exactly which ones are the uh, Variations. I'm not liking my chances of uh, getting a set after seeing that pack was all duplicates of another pack. Um, Luke Hockabach. Joe Benson. Excuse me. Raphael for call. Well, closer. Uh, Pujols. Joe DiMaggio. I think it's kind of laughable that people are saying, oh my goodness, Panini beat so-and-so company to a tops, you know, to having a player in uh, updated. But it's like, okay, tops has people in actual outfits and Panini has people in business casual where, and it's got a city on the front of the card. I mean, it took nothing. They could get traded five times, and they could use the same exact picture and just throw a different name on there, and they're up to date. But that doesn't change the fact that the cards still look like crap. Ty Cobb. But how do I really feel? Anthony Rizzo. Joey Votto. Votto is one of those players that um, Gibson and Halliday uh, that I got on a fantasy team, my big keeper fantasy team, and because of his performance, he's become a player that I kind of I don't actively pursue him, but I like.
like seeing his cards come out. And now I kind of follow him a little more than your average player. So there should be one more relic, probably manufactured relic. Let's see. Getting a lot of gold rookies. Not that that means much. Um, Jeremy Moore. I don't know if there's any big rookies in, in this at this point. Alfonso Soriano. The Hawk. Andre Dawson. Another Jeter. Paul Molitor. Craig Krimble, Kimbrell. Blah. Dan Ugla. Diamond giveaway. Golden giveaway. Whoops. <laughs> Manningly and Hosmer. Okay, sure. Let's randomly pick players and toss them on a card together because they have the same position. I guess that's better than last year's dynamic duos or diamond duos where they were pairing people based on religion. D. Gordon. Gold cup, gold card. And these are not numbered. Oh no, no, the, the, the sparkles weren't numbered last year. I'm thinking of the gold. Uh, there are no gold, uh, regular gold parallels. There's just the black. I am gone, I just realized that. Count Ripken. Never be unhappy getting a Ripken. Ernie Banks. Brian LaVarnway. Oh man, lots of doubles in the inserts. Another Jeter. <laughs> oh, Chad Billingsley. Man, I tend to pull a lot of Dodgers, which is good because I mean, there's a lot of people that read that uh, follow this blog that are Dodgers fans. That, the powder blue is nice. Um, got the Golden Giveaway. Frankie Robinson and Jose Bautista. Two guys who just happen to play the same position many, many years apart from each other. So there's the box. Got the uh, bird auto and the manufactured cards, which I didn't set aside for some reason. Um, but I focused on them all. So at the shop today, I got an extra golden giveaway card courtesy of Peter the owner of the shop and in my one pack uh, there we go Jeremy Hellickson it's a sticker auto and they kinda of paniniized this card just by using the regular card and sticking an auto there but it's also numbered 8 of 15 so Pretty decent pull for just buying one extra pack. I was really just getting the pack to have one more wrapper. Um, you know, I figure I can if I can get three more wrappers, then I'll be able to send them in for a um, uh, what should we call it redemption pack. So there we go. That was my big pull. What else was it? What else did I get? Uh, let me show the inserts quick. Benton Court. Jared Weaver, Nolan Ryan, Carpin Jr., Loretis Vizcaino, Jared Weaver, and Golden Giveaway. So, uh, for those of you watching this, uh, and I'll put scans and stuff up, but uh, the inserts, other than the uh, minis, I will be uh, trading. Especially if you want to trade me some minis for those inserts. Uh, I'm definitely up for that because I'm going to be putting together the mini insert set. And uh, if you have any Red Sox manufactured relics, uh, I'd be interested in those, trading some stuff for those. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the break. Thanks for watching.